Ariel's Story Deep beneath the sea lived a little mermaid named Ariel. She loved exploring her underwater home with her friend Flounder, but dreamed of living on land as a human. Ariel was always searching for human treasures. When she and Flounder found a strange forked object, they swam to the surface to find Scuttle the seagull. It's a dinglehopper, he proclaimed. Ariel's father was King Triton, ruler of the sea. He thought humans were dangerous. When he learned that Ariel had been to the surface, he forbade her to ever go again. Then, he asked Sebastian the Crab to keep an eye on her. But Ariel continued to go to the surface. One night, a terrible storm swept across the sea. Ariel and Flounder watched as a prince fell off a huge ship. I must save him, she cried. Ariel pulled Prince Eric to shore and sang to him. Then she swam away. Prince Eric only caught a glimpse of Ariel's face, but he knew he would remember her beautiful voice forever. Desperate to see Prince Eric again, Ariel agreed to give her voice to the evil sea witch, Ursula. With bigger plans in mind, Ursula cast a spell. And turned Ariel into a human. But if Prince Eric didn't kiss Ariel by sunset on the third day, she would become a mermaid again. Even worse, she would belong to the Sea Witch forever. Charmed by her silent beauty, Prince Eric showed Ariel his kingdom. Ariel loved being with the prince in the human world, but the two had not yet kissed. Worried that Prince Eric was falling in love with Ariel, Ursula transformed herself into the beautiful Vanessa. She was going to make the prince fall in love with her instead. Disguised as Vanessa and using Ariel's voice, the sea witch cast a spell on Prince Eric. He thought he was in love. He was going to marry Vanessa. Ariel had lost her true love. Just before sunset on the third day, Scuttle discovered that Vanessa was Ursula in disguise. He hurried to warn Ariel. As Sebastian went to find King Triton, Ariel and Flounder raced to catch Prince Eric's ship. With the help of her friends, Ariel was able to stop the wedding and get her voice back. Released from Ursula's spell, Prince Eric realized that Ariel was the one he truly loved. But it was too late. The sun went down before Ariel and the prince could kiss. She was a mermaid once more, and she belonged to Ursula. To save his daughter, King Triton gave Ursula his great powers and became her prisoner. Now I am the ruler of all the ocean, shouted Ursula. As Ursula grew in size and towered above the sea, Prince Eric jumped aboard an old ship. 
he steered its jagged bow through Ursula's heart. With a howl, the sea witch disappeared in the waves. With Ursula gone, King Triton regained his powers. Seeing Ariel's love for Prince Eric, the king granted her wish. She became human. Ariel and Prince Eric married and lived happily in a castle by the sea. The end.